And many of you are leaving your birthday wishes for the Reverend Billy Graham on the News 13 Facebook page. News 13's Lauren Brigman is at the digital desk with a look at what people are saying they admire most about him. Lauren? Well, thanks, Jay. We asked on our Facebook page what you admire most about Reverend Graham. Here's some of the comments we've received so far. Tara Thompson says the fact that even at 95, he still proclaims the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And Susan Loggins writes, unwavering faith is what she admires most about Graham. He says what he believes, believes what he says, and acts like a Christian should. Jeff Naylor writes, it's very simple, respect. He's earned it. And finally, Nancy Lee says his love, loyalty, and living for the Lord, his genuine faith, and sharing to the world. And remember, you can tell us your thoughts about Reverend Graham by going to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash news13, and we may share your answers on air throughout the day. From his early years on a dairy farm in Charlotte to traveling the world to share the word of Christ, the Reverend Billy Graham has accomplished many great things. And news 13's Lauren Brigman has a look at some of the milestones that mark Billy Graham's legacy. That's right, William Franklin Graham Jr. was born November 7, 1918. He grew up on a dairy farm in Charlotte during the Depression. At the age of 20, Graham was ordained as a Southern Baptist minister, and four years later, he graduated from Wheaton College in Illinois and married fellow student Ruth Bell. The Los Angeles Crusade in 1949 launched Graham into international fame. There are problems of sin and habit that cannot be solved outside the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. More than 350,000 people attended the eight-week-long crusade. Reverend Graham has preached the gospel to more people in live audiences than anyone else in history, nearly 215 million people. Now, in 1950, the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association was founded. And Graham has been the source of faith to many U.S. presidents. Here are photos of Graham meeting with Presidents Truman through Obama. In 1992, Graham was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And then in 1996, President Bill Clinton awarded him the Congressional Gold Medal. On May 31, 2007, the Billy Graham Library opened in Charlotte, but less than one month later, Graham's wife Ruth passed away. They were married almost 64 years. And today, we celebrate Billy Graham's 95th birthday. In celebration, My Hope America with Billy Graham is launched. We have a link to the effort at WLOS.com. We'll also link you to the BGEA website. And all morning long, we've been asking you to share your memories of Billy Graham with us on Facebook. News 13's Lauren Brigman joins us at the digital desk this morning. Lauren, the Reverend Graham has left quite an impression on our viewers. He definitely has, Jay. We asked you on our Facebook page what you admire most about Reverend Graham. Here's some of the comments we've received so far. Daniel Carter says, I admire his commitment for all those years to spread the gospel, not only in America, but around the world in face of dictators and poverty. And Peggy Yarborough writes, his focus on giving hope for the world, never wavering in his faith and maintaining his integrity throughout his life. And Mary Hall Edwards posted on behalf of Mill Spring First Baptist Church. She says, thank you, Billy Graham, for pouring the blessings out that God has given you. What you shared in your life has impacted many others. Now remember, you can tell us your thoughts about Reverend Graham by going to facebook.com news13. We may even share your answers on air throughout the day.